Bringing herbal tea and talking. Well, the year is coming to close. My year recapping was quite wild. I moved from Costa Rica to Sao Paulo in January and started in, in February a animation university in, uh, near my well, a bit far away from my house. But I really didn't like it. People and the, the classes were very hard and they were 3D and I didn't see a future with myself in animation. Yeah. So I dropped the university and I even said I wasn't wasting my time on the internet because there was a computer swing for seven. I couldn't stand that. Then my voices kept trying to to make me do things, very evil things like stabbing people or, or committing crimes. And uh, I was kind of out of control. One night I ate five grams of weed and I fell and hurt my spine. I could have died. I fractured my spine, L3, could have died. And I attacked someone I loved. So, willingly, I asked to be put to a psychiatric hospital uh, here in Brazil, and I stayed there for a month. And my psychiatrist and my therapist worked together to get the bed, the correct meds for me, which really helped to take care of the voices. I still have the voices, but it, the medication makes them disappear for periods of time. I'm really looking at self-help um, and uh, you know, gurus, mentors like Shang Yi and the Mulligan Brothers who make talk about Buddhism and uh, Sha uh, Shaolin uh, Kung Fu and Buddhism. I look at Andrew Tate and Tristan Tate, both fighting against the status quo. You can put other people in those regards, like John Peterson, Jay Chappelle, uh, uh, Ricky Gervais, you know, all these people that go against the curve. But again, I'm trying to tell stories because I love I love stories. That's what makes life move. And even though my year was hectic and I could have had died, I still managed to make it out okay. And I want others to know, even if you're in a very extreme situation, you'll get out of it eventually. You have to find a way. You have to fight. I was reborn, ladies and gentlemen. And someone you who takes risks with caution, who listens to advice, who works hard, who has focus by meditation and reading, who loves the the intrigue of life and all these these mysteries. Life is quite mysterious. The ways you move around and what you can do and what you see. I I said my life was like a video game because I have visions of war and me flying jets and planes and and me seeing special forces in battle. Those are my visions and they're considered a part of my life. So we continue. And I will continue trying to make what I do part of something bigger. Maybe write a novel about it. And I'm still having the ideas cooking, you know, like a big oven or a furnace or a big Raptor 9 engine called the Elon Musk Falcon 9. I think, however, that voices and my visions and my spiritual. Uh, elements that I have had have shaped me as a person. I think I'm un unrecognizable from before the medication. It's changed who I am and what I can do and be. And I wish you all to have tea ceremonies. Just drink a bit of tea and talk to people. It does wonders. I like talking to strangers, like Uber drivers, uh, food delivery people. You know, it's something they're lesser than you because they're not rich or doing a high job, but I think they're striving for some better, you know. Maybe it's not their end goal, but it's part of the journey. And I asked them, the Uber drivers, if you give me a piece of advice, what would it be? Um, some say hard work, some say study, stick to studying. Others say try to do what makes you feel well and have patience. And I need to work on my patience for me. Wow, this tea is really warm. Uh, it's a chamomile. Cam I know it's a herbal tea, actually. I, I think it's like a green tea. It's very tasty. I like drinking tea. In Costa Rica, there was this tea they had called de, de frio, which is cold uh, tea, and it's very tasty. A lemon, usually. I'm going to try to find a recipe, and maybe I'll do a video showing me cooking uh, that drink. Yeah. Uh, behind me, there are posters. There are four posters. The 
And the la- the one back there, I got my grandmother. It says, "Work hard or go home." Uh, that oh, oops, that there is the Apple one of the Ghostbusters. That there's Stranger Things hollow a hollow poster, holographic poster, which shifts to the images. And here's the Top Gun poster in Japanese. I just I think it's about my life, you know. And the Lego sets I collect. I just think it's it's something cool to have memories of you. Put on I have books that my mother made of my growing of me growing up. Even though I'm not rich, millionaire rich, my family is um well off. Yeah, we live a good life in Brazil. Even though I wish to be in an English speaking country. Cheers. Although you can't have everything in life, correct? So I try not to judge and I'll go up the flow. Uh, one step at a time, one person better every day, and you should be fine. Of course, takes courage, dedication, and really, I'm trying to meditate more. By listening to uh, classical music, I have a playlist called Phantom Menace. Uh, Phantom Meditation, sorry. And I just put that thing on and I just jam out by breathing. I've only done it three minutes, so I've got to make it a bit better. Oh, my God. So, yeah, it takes time and dedication. Oh, my God. And I'm recording a video, sir. Take the door down. So. Oh, let's take <laughs> the door down. Oh, let the dog out. Take the dog out. <laughs> Yeah, I have the dog too called Yoda. He's a, a beautiful American bully. He's a mix between a pit bull and a, a bulldog. And um, when I went to see him in the dog pen, he was there looking very sad, not barking, with a bunch of other dogs barking in enclosed spaces. And uh, we, we were going to adopt him, but a family took him before us. And they returned him one day later, saying he was sniffing their other dog and couldn't keep him. So we got him, and uh, we took a photo of me wearing a Trump hat. Look, make America great again. And that that just made a bunch of people crazy. They um, checked out my Instagram account and said I looked dangerous. And it was dangerous to the dog because I had a political opinion. Even if I wasn't a Trumpster and I had the hat, why why would they attack me based on an ideological cap? That's kind of like if you had a swastika armband or any other you know group. I mean, not as bad as the Nazis, but... Uh, it's, you know, it's odd, right? They peek and pick and choose and point and say you're evil, you're bad because you believe in something. doesn't mean it's reality. Uh, Although the Nazis were really bad and the communists, everybody's been bad, but they were a uh, step further, right? So even the, comparable to the um, guys, the terrorists, I'd say. But I'm not here wrong political opinions, please. Just my opinion. Just why I, you know, I, I've gone through history. History classes are amazing. Now I want to talk about Boston too. The two times I've been to Boston for studying at Suffolk University, I got sent to psych wards. Um, but I had a great time. I made friends. The first day in the, in the dormitory, we smoked weed, and one of the guys passed out. We had to drive him back to the dormitory. The cops got angry. Put that set up. Um. Not much any names, of course. But I made friends, and uh, we we hung out, and I went to one party only during my time. Oh, two. Uh, the first was Halloween, and that's the time the day I noticed I couldn't drink alcohol anymore because they were drinking, and I downed a bottle of whiskey, half of a Tennessee Black label, and I got super drunk. And I left the place. It was staggering, and I woke up. I was at a hotel, obviously. I was Jesus Christ. I needed a bedroom. They pushed me out. And then I woke up with the cops, bringing me to my dormitory, and uh, I showed them my ID, let me up, and I collapsed the door. I will. I never drink it anymore. Uh, you know, it just was a rude awakening. I really enjoyed my courses. I made a good friend with Tyler. Uh, we wrote a paper. It's available online, actually. And uh, I also made a friend, Sam, whom we were very close. We had a lot of energy. He introduced me to his friends. And, yeah. I discovered the city of Boston by walking, by train, by bus. I uh, had a, I was free for once, but it didn't work out. Of course, the medication and the voices. You know, they brought me to the psych orders twice. The only year I've been free, it's been four years since I had these voices, but it's been, yeah, it's been a, a year now. It's been a, well, it's going to be the first time um, this year that I'm, I'm free from them, at least. It's very freeing, but I still have them. And they're still part of me. Uh, sorry, now back to Suffolk. Um, classes, I really enjoyed them, except my math class, but I still I made friends there. 
the psychology class, like psych 101, I was a psych major initially, psych zero, one, 101, one, oh, yeah, psych 101, the professor would read a lot of his slides, and uh, I would just have peers talk to peers, and I made two other friends in the bathroom, they were smoking weed and, and a vape, and I went to McDonald's and brought McDonald's to the class, and one of them, um, bench, one of the squad in his back. It was very interesting. Uh, I really enjoyed my time in the, in Boston and the Americans. My brother and my brother went to bought to um Illinois for university, but I won't talk about what he thinks about Americans or doesn't because he's his own character and we make podcasts together. But he doesn't want to be on film, it's all right. We got a brush with British British accent, and of course, slow it slow me down, calm. Every English teacher I had has said that I word vomit and I have great ideas, gems. But it's lost in a in a word a bunch of words. And I think that's true. I'm trying to write a bunch and um yeah, I just have lots to say and uh, think quite a bit. But I know I'm not too smart. Like in maps, like it's impossible. I can't do algebra at all. My math my math another cool that he stops at algebra. And I got my father's memory, which means I can remember what I write a paragraph. I'll read a paragraph, I won't remember what science. Mm-hmm. There's something to work on my memory. By you know recounting ideas, places, things. Life has been a roller coaster for me. It's been amazing. I've traveled the world. I've seen a bunch of things. I've you know tried and failed at classes. I did jujitsu, and the, my uh, one of the black belts told me I had to be patient, do it slowly. And uh, yeah, I would never tap out. So they keep trying to, you know, break my arm or my leg, and I wouldn't let them. Uh, I wouldn't. I would, just, you know, survive the clothes. I you know, with the Moshashi sort of, you know, I was getting up. By the way, even I cried once. I remember because I was not good at all. I can, I couldn't lift the other person off from the top from my top. So I, I cried once in the bathroom. But I made friends there. I'm not in touch with them anymore. Just like when I became a Paralympic athlete for roller skiing, for skiing Nahua here in Sao Paulo. So roller ski, I would train three times per week. Uh, we would, it was a, oh, it was a um, non-profit. I was helping kids from favelas to, by g- giving them support and ski in USP, which is big university campus in Sao Paulo. And I, I joined them because my mother was friends with the coach. And we paid them, we gave them money to help them. And we would compete every year. I, I competed uh, officially, and I want to have a trophy. Uh, I won quite a bit, so I, I really enjoyed it. My brother, Matthews, Matthews, was always in it too, and he really enjoyed it. He liked it, but he was worse off than me. I was better at skiing, so he's better at me in mathematics. We're all different human beings, abilities, ideas, and life experiences, and none of them is better than the other. They just got things to learn, you know? Creativity, create things out of energy. Newton's second or third law of thermodynamic thermodynamics. Um, so yeah, I would say if I have to give someone a piece of advice, and embrace new things, try something out new. Go to the gym, to a different gym. Try painting, doing art. It's very fun. I'm gonna start painting. Um, I want to do painting. I'm gonna be doing two universities. Well, one is technical college, but well, two years, and um, I finish the first semester fine. I'm going to start a cinema university degree too at night. So I'm going to be busy. I'll make time to make videos like these. Get, give me a cool off, you know. So yeah, I think life is amazing. It's got to hold on and think about what you're doing and try to find new connections. It's all about energy. Everything is energy. Movement, thinking, sleeping. Conservation of energy, moving, you know, kinetic energy, talking, you know, mental energy. And it's things we haven't been ready or had before. But yeah, everything is energy. And the tea finished. All right, let's go. Mm-hmm. Made a pee. <laughs> I already have the urge to pee. I'm going to pee on myself, you don't Well, I actually do pee on myself because my pee-pee, you know, is kind of broken. I'm joking. Or am I? 
or is he is he a piss boy? PP boy. Tell me something else, PP boy. Well, in, in Boston, in one of the university courses, I made everybody laugh by making jokes about me being Brazilian and having lazy eyes. I really miss having you know, these connections, but I'm doing the new ones now, which is great. So I'll move on from there. Cheers, ladies and gentlemen. Oof. It's warm, it's cool, it's very calming. Which is why I like doing these things when I talk and hear the voices, but I do you know, have these ideas. And uh, hopefully I will publish my books in the future. I think, you know, self-expression is amazing. And um, I just want other people to try and be themselves. But by trying new things and being courageous, you create new neurons, new uh, ways to express yourself and be. It's like meditation, exercise, reading, and writing. And doing, yeah, those four things are my pillars. Well, I need to work more on meditation by all these than writing, than reading, and the least uh, by what reading, writing, meditation, a sport, yeah, sport, exercise. Yeah, life is, you never know what's going to happen, really. You can steal your way. You can have a bad day. You can break a leg. You can lose your job. You can come home in the season. But things will always find a way to be better. Always. No matter what happens. It's always a way out. It's all about your mindset. Thinking slow, slowly, slower. Yeah. I've been blessed many times. But it's only this year that I think I've really managed to become a man or, you know, uh, or went to some sort of awakening that, you know, got me here. You know, like an adventure, yes. My life is very much like an adventure this year. I, however, want you all to have adventures. Doesn't mean it has to be dangerous, like a bald and mangrove that crosses the Mexican border or goes to the uh, top of a train journey in the Sahara Desert, no. You have to just, you know, take some risks by doing new things like joining an art club and try to convince yourself to talk to people and then you can build exercises, ideas, physic, um, things you do, mannerisms. Because humans are very plastic, very mo movable, right? So it's very much like a, like a spider, like a spider building a spider web. If the spider ate a fly, you can build the spider web for longer. If it was given to LSD, this web would look a little bit different. Um, but you got the ability to build the web to catch things in. And that's your brain. The web is the brain. And the spider is you, you and your actions. And then the brain attracts things. And um, these things make you move forward. I spilled some tea on me. Well, that's right. I drank tea in China. I drank tea in Morocco. I drank tea in Egypt. When I was younger, of course. And Costa Rica, I'm less younger, but I'm only 21, so I still got time. But these, these, these ideas, you know, of becoming a better person, of asking for advice, never ends. The amount of people you can meet, like you're one, and then there's 8 billion other humans. And the ability to connect with anyone can be increased if you take, if you take it slowly or, or just listen to what they have to say. Listening is the most important habit just for speaking. I can't let you all talking or think thoughts like this. Yeah, he's doing great. You see that? Yay, congratulations. High charisma. Hi. Not charisma, confidence, sorry. But tea, tea's amazing. You know, it heals, it nourishes. You have a tea ceremony once every day. I'll do it. 365 bags of tea. Or a jug of tea with you. It was very delicious. Costa Rica was very different from Brazil, from Germany, because it was kind of like a beach town. It was a vibe from Brazil. Um, not a lot of buildings, to skyscrapers at all. Very, very nature friendly. No um, nature uh, cold. Desmatamento, uh, deforestation, on that. Yeah, the beaches are beautiful, but I think Brazil has prettier beaches. I like uh, Angra dos Reis, which I'm going, or Ubatuba, or Rio de Janeiro, even. Yeah. Another sip left for tea. 
Thank you for watching. It really means a lot. Most of my viewers who watch my content. I just want to talk to me. New ideas, you know, be known. So, yeah. Thank you for watching.